welcome to my home studio. This is where I give you the opportunity to follow along at home and the chance to maybe remind yourself what we're doing if you just need to do a little bit of practice for the show. Anyways, what I'm going to do today is just break down what we've learned so far. This week I'll add on what we do in class starting tonight. So, the very beginning of the music, there's five big giant shimmy noises. As there's five people in the class, each person will be assigned one of them. You'll get to shimmy and then wait until it's your turn for the next part. Then we have 30 seconds of soft taxiing. It'll just be some arms, some little shimmies, some hips. We're going to create that part as a class in about week eight, so we're not going to worry about it yet. At about a minute three is where we jump in with what we've already learned. We have, and I'm just going to face the mirror to make this easier. On our right hip, we have drop, kick, drop, kick, a figure eight on the hip, and switch feet. Left hip, drop, kick, drop, kick, another figure eight, face front. Then we're going to travel forward with cabaret steps going Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Moving back with a rolling camel on every step. We have right, left, right, left. Moving to the right, we have four rockias. That's when we step together with that little bit of a hip pull coming in after the fact. Our hands are going to give a little bit of a push. We're going to go right together. Right together, right together, and last one to the other side. Left together, left together, left together, left together. Two coffee grinders to face the wall, a big shoulder circle to the front, and then two little ones. Two more coffee grinders to switch walls, a big camel, two little camels. Okay, then we add in our grapevine. We're going to go in front, beside, behind, pop the right hip. Step with the right, in front, beside, behind, tuck where our tailbone gets pulled backwards, kind of like a little karate chop to the middle, and I actually would like your hand tucked into the belly just to accent that. So it was one, two, three, pop, one, two, three, chop. Our weight is on the right foot, we're going to step with the left, doing step together, step, quarter turn. We added on the hula hoop traveling uni circles to that. One, two, three, and turn. One, two, three, and turn. One, two, three, face back. One, two, three, and stop. But we also added some arms last week. We had our little karate chop. We're going to keep that arm pointing in the direction that we're going. The opposite hand is going to kind of curl around the head, then switch on the hop. One, two, three, and hop. One, two, three, and hop. One, two, three, and hop. Last one, and stop. Peek over the left shoulder. Give a little shoulder shimmy. Peek over the right. Two right hip drops, bring your hands down, shimmy right, left, right, left, five, six, seven, eight, cross and turn, four, roll up for two, shimmy and roll it down. Okay, so most people should have gotten cross, turn, camel roll, shimmy and roll down. Now we're going to add on what we did last week that not everyone was there for, so it's a little bit different. We're going to start out with a movement called a chooch, where our feet are just kind of going step, squish, step, squish, kind of, kind of pulling across the floor. So everyone's going right, step, 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 step. And the leading hip is going to do a little pop with each one, so we have pop, 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 pop. We're going to divide the class into two parts the right side of the room and the left side. The right side will go first and do eight chooches as the right hip is going up. The hand is going to raise and land at the top. So the leading hand goes with the hip. Eight to 
those. Then they're going to hold still, do nothing. The opposite half of the class, the left side, do the same thing on the left hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then they hold it. Back to the right side. We're standing here where we have a little accent. Mario, right, left, right. Umi, one. Umi, two. And bring it into a corkscrew, which was an umi in the bottom, Ferris wheel in the top. Right, left, right, circle, circle, Ferris wheel. One, two, three, circle, circle, Ferris wheel. Then the left group, starting on the left hip, goes left, right, left, circle, circle, Ferris wheel. Does that make sense? Group A, group B, group A, group B. We've spread out. Someone on group A will be doing a three-step turn, which is right, turn, turn, pose. Whoever is at the front of group A will do that first, just one dancer. One, two, three, pose. The next vert, or the next eight counts, someone from group B. Left, turn, turn, pose. Group A, right, turn, turn, pose. Group B, left, turn, turn, pose. By the end of that, we've got one, two, three, four, and everybody's in a lovely pose. If all five of us are dancing, then one person will be at the back with two hands up just to create the V shape. I think that's going to look awesome. So we're in our pose. We have almost done. We're going to shimmy for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We turn, face the side or the corner. However we land, we want to profile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, turn. Shoulder shimmies with a little bit of a tip. And we're going to go up, down, up, down. Shimmy, down, up, down. Add on a camel and one hip drop. Up, down, up, down, camel, drop, kick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the whole verse. The next section of the music is a whole bunch of random, staccatic, funky little noises. The very first one we're going to hit goes boop, boop, and we haven't got beyond that. I'm going to play it with some music, see if we can follow along. Wait for the day. Dancer one and two. 